believers need to understand how critical and how important it is to read the Word of God for themselves. And not only read the Word of God for themselves, but to rightly divide the Word of truth. Because if you hear these guys who are into this prosperity gospel, they're using scriptures to back up what they say and what they believe, but they're misinterpreting the scriptures. Jesus himself said in John 16 that in this world you will have trials and tribulation. If Jesus said it, we're going to have those difficult times in life. Every day it's not going to be Sunday. Everybody's not going to be rich. Everybody's not going to be able to name it and claim it and nab it and grab it. The fact of the matter is, in this life, we're going to have trials and tribulation. So the way to come against those kind of teachings is that we need believers and to instead of just looking at somebody on the TV or in the media or listening to somebody on the radio, Sit down with your pastor or with your Sunday school teacher or with a Bible study and a commentary and whatever else you need and rightly divide the word of God for yourself. And then you will see the true words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, there are times in our lives that we will be blessed by God to do things that God has called us to do. But the fact of the matter is, it's not the way uh, prosperity gospel preachers say it today, where you can just nab it and grab it and name it and claim it. It takes hard work. It takes diligence. It takes faithfulness. But most of all, it takes being good stewards of what God has given us and our time, our talent, and our treasure. So once we rightly divide the word of truth, I think then we can make more of an impact of really saying what the gospel says about true prosperity, and that's by having a personal relationship with God. Jesus said it like this in John chapter 10. I've come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. And that abundant life is a relationship with Christ, the joy, the peace, the happiness, the contentment, all that God gives you. I'm convinced that there are a lot of rich folk who live in beautiful homes, beautiful mansions, uh, going to bed on a celiopatopedic mattress, but can't sleep because they have no peace, they don't have any joy. Joy comes, peace comes, abundant life comes in a relationship with Jesus Christ.